What up, everybody? Power Book 2 goes Season 3. Tariq just finished saving Brayden by killing the Russian boss. And Tariq, Effie, and Brayden all ran into an Italian restaurant when Brayden got up to get himself together and text Kane. Effie and Tariq began to have a conversation. When Effie went on to say to Tariq, So we're going to be the stands Phil, Bonnie, and Clyde. Something that was also said to them a couple more times in Season 3 as well. But Tariq said, F*** no. We're going to be like Thomasine and Bushrock. Effie never heard of the movie and asked Tariq who that was. And he told Effie it was his mother's favorite and an old classic. And it's fire. So I had to check this movie out and see if it had any clues for these last episodes of Power Book 2. And Tariq wasn't lying. The movie is definitely fire. Either though, like most of my favorite movies, I'll have to turn it off before it ends next time I watch it. It's like the only crime movie or show I can think of off the top of my head with a good ending is paid in full. Either though Money Mitch got smoked, at least Ace got a good ending. And I'm going to put a link to the movie Thomasine and Bushrod in the description. If you've never watched it before, you can actually watch it for free on YouTube. But in this video, I'm going to break down four characters from the movie, their stories, and the similarities they have to five characters from Power Book 2. Looking at Bushrod, the main character from the movie, as Tariq, because he's the one who said him and Effie are going to be like Thomasine and Bushrod. Thomasine, Bushrod's girl, and the other main character of the show, and her comparison to both Effie and Diana. Their longtime good friend J Mo, and his comparison to Brayden, and the Marshal, who could be compared to Detective Don Carter. The movie starts out with all these characters on their own but having a prior history with the others, and only a little bit of their backstory was told throughout the movie. The movie takes place in Texas, and the year at the beginning of the movie was 1911. The first character introduced was Thomasine, who was sitting outside of some building talking to a couple ladies when she told them that she had no parents, that farmers found her with the pigs when she was only a couple hours old. Already sounding like the character that Tariq initially compared to Thomasine, Effie, who Obi called Little Orphan Annie. And just like Effie's a con artist who hacks into sh Thomasine was also kind of a con artist, as she act like she's going to hook up with a man only to pull out her gun and rob him, then report him to the marshal because he was wanted. Then at the jail, we got our first introduction to the marshal. And the first thing he did was push Thomasine into a cell and threatened to leave Thomasine in the cell forever to show her that she's not as smart as she thinks. Then even threatened to let the man in the cell with her before letting her go. Showing from the beginning that this sheriff is crooked, reminiscent of Detective Don Carter. And when Thomasine was being released, she saw a wanted picture of Bushrod with a thousand dollar reward and mentioned him being dead to the sheriff. The sheriff told her that he's not dead. He still hears stories about him popping up somewhere every now and then. Letting us know that Bushrod was able to fake his death in some kind of way. A man later said to Bushrod that people say he can't die. Bushrod's fake death could also very well be an Easter egg that James St. Patrick is in fact alive. So Thomasine went looking for Bushrod and it didn't take her long to find him in the inn he was staying at. Again, when she first saw Bushrod, she told him she thought he was dead. Leaving the question, why did she think he was dead? And why did they go their separate ways to begin with? But at this time, Bushrod had revenge on his mind. He had to kill the man who killed his sister. Again, does this sound familiar? We know that Tariq had to get revenge on Ray Ray for killing Raina. Let's hope that book two doesn't end with the death of Yaz and Tariq seeking revenge in the next power book. This scene also gave us a little backstory into Bushrod's relationship with the sheriff. He said that he embarrassed the sheriff and the sheriff's been after him ever since. But Bushrod was watching out the window for the man who killed his sister, who was a notorious bank robber, to get into the town he was in. And when they arrived, Bushrod shot the two men he was with and fought the man before finally picking back up the gun and killing him. But the problem was, Thomasine had stirred something up in the sheriff mentioning Bushrod causing him to go hunting for him again. And he was ready to arrest Bushrod or kill him when Thomasine saved him and the two were able to escape. 
but now the sheriff didn't only want to take Bushrod down, but also Thomasine, after being played by her, then humiliated. But after they escaped, Bushrod wasn't trying to get back into the life, and he had been breaking horses for $2 a day. But Thomasine wanted more, and Bushrod agreed and told her that he would buy her everything that she ever wanted. So the two started robbing banks and giving money back to the poor and becoming famous in the process. The whole time the sheriff is hunting him, consumed with taking them down. He even started making false reports in the newspapers saying that they robbed other banks that they had never robbed before. But later on down the line, when going to buy some ammo for their next bank robbery, the man recognized them and was holding them at gunpoint when their longtime friend j -Mo showed up out of nowhere and saved them before the three fled to the house that Bushrod and Thomasine had been staying at. And it was said that Bushrod and j -Mo had a history of saving each other, being at the right place at the right time. Again, sounding a lot like the history between Tariq and Brayden, who have each saved each other a few times. But again, we never learned the backstory or history of why Bushrod and J-Mo had went their separate ways to begin with. And much like Brayden, J-Mo is a lot less serious than Bushrod and more of a class clown type, joking a lot like Brayden. And around the same time, Thomasine revealed to Bushrod that she was pregnant. Like I said, I feel like Thomasine is a combination of both Effie and Diana. So because of Thomasine being pregnant, the three were going to hit one final bank robbery and move to Mexico and buy a ranch where they could break their own horses. Basically, similar to a drug dealer saying he's going to get out the game after this one last re-up. But it's always that one last re-up that gets them caught up. Then Bushrod sent j -Mo into the town that they were going to rob the bank at next to stake it out. And around this time, the sheriff found out that Thomasine and Bushrod was back rolling with j -Mo. And the sheriff knew that that would be their downfall and said it would only be a matter of time until he makes a mistake. And this is exactly what j -Mo did. In these days, cars were very rare. Only one or two were in every town. Bushrod and Thomasine always kept a car and let j -Mo drive their car into town. But when j -Mo got back, he had a brand new car that he stole from somebody. Thomasine and Bushrod knew that this was a mistake, but J-Mo swore he hid the other car where nobody could find it. But someone did and immediately reported it to the sheriff, who then knew what town Thomasine and Bushrod were going to hit next. The sheriff was waiting for them, and when J-Mo went back into the town, the sheriff captured him and dropped him into a pit of snakes for not telling him where Thomasine and Bushrod were staying. So much like how Tariq would never leave Braden behind, Against Thomasine's better judgment, they went to the town looking for Bushrod, and as soon as they pulled up, a hit squad was waiting for them, and the sheriff shot Thomasine in the stomach. So Bushrod rushed the sheriff and killed him, all while getting shot himself, and that's how the story ended. So if book two ends anything like Thomasine and Bushrod, Carter will kill Diana, then Tariq will kill Carter. The only question concerning Tariq and Brayden is will they end up like J-Mo and Bushrod at the end of the movie or pre-movie, meaning we could possibly see Tariq kill Carter while being shot in the process and people would think he is dead. Possibly Brayden also being there when Tariq kills Carter and Tariq telling Brayden to go on the run and leave him behind, similar to Ghost and Tommy. And they did say that the show would end with a cliffhanger. That could possibly be Tariq getting shot, similar to Bushrod. Because it never actually showed Bushrod die in the movie. So there is a chance that he survived after killing the sheriff. Because of his popularity, they might have actually let him go because the sheriff was the main one trying to take them down. Concerning Effie, it was said by Thomasine that she was a bounty hunter before she got back with Bushrod. And she was ashamed to tell him that because that was pretty much like being a snitch in these times. But she refused to turn on Bushrod. This could be foreshadowing at the end of Power Book 2 that Effie will turn into a CI to survive. And then Effie, Tariq, and Brayden would all go their separate ways at the end of Power Book 2, only to be reunited in the next book like Bushrod, Thomasine, and j -Mo. And there you have it. Leave your thoughts, theories, and predictions in the comments.